Hello all and welcome to SourceCat tutorial. In this tutorial, I will explore Polyline Edit tool. So, for exploring this Polyline Edit tool, you need to have a Polyline here. I think you are familiar with the Polyline tool. If not, I suggest you to go through my previous video in which I have explained Polyline tool in quite detail. So, now let's look at this Polyline. Edit. Let's make an object, something similar to this. Okay, it's a random object made with polyline having many vertices. Now, if you want to make some changes on this polyline, we have two options either double click and polyline edit option. You can see here on the command line or go to modify panel on home ribbon and select the polyline edit tool click on this polyline edit and you'll find the same set of options here you can also start polyline edit using command line by entering p e and enter and select the polyline and here it is now let's see what this polyline tool basically does so here we have a big set of options we are not going to look at close and join right now so let's start with width and other options for example we want to increase the width of this set of polylines so click on width and enter the width of all length segments for example one in this case enter and the width of this polyline has been increased to one unit now the next tool is edit vertex we'll look at it but before that we'll look at close and join so let's make another set of polyline which is open something like this suppose we want to join these two things these two open corners so for that double click to start polyline edit and click on close once you do this it will join the open boundary also if you have two polylines something like this and this these two polylines are separate but they are not joined with each other so you can join it using join command so select join select your objects and press enter and now this polyline is a single unit now it has been joined let's erase this set of polylines okay Let's start polyline edit now we have an option here edit vertex so but before going through this option edit vertex I'll try to explain all these options so first let's look at fit option once you click on fit option you'll see something like this it might seem a bit mysterious to you at the first instant but it's not actually these lines are actually converted into set of arcs that's all you can go back to the original polyline shape using D curve so click on this D curve and here it is your original polyline also you can convert it into a set of splines by clicking on spline this arrangement has been converted into a set of splines instead of arcs that was converted in fit option now we have here line type general which we are not going to discuss now and we have an option reverse so what a reverse does actually it just reverses the order of creating a polyline for example this is the first point this one second third fourth and fifth now once you reverse the order once you reverse the order the polyline order the order in which the polyline has been drawn is reversed that means this point becomes the first then second third fourth and fifth that's it with the reverse tool now let us look at edit vertex option which was a polyline so for that i'll make a polyline something like this then uh, let's select arc 
and make an arc okay go to line again this and close it now double click and uh, let's go to edit vertex now so edit vertex now in edit vertex you will find a, another set of sub tools so you can see the x mark over here so all the changes which we are going to make here will appear on this vertex only if you want to make changes apparent on other vertex you need to take this x mark using next and previous to that vertex so using this next and previous you can take this cross mark to any of the vertex on which you want to apply your changes so let's say that i want to change this vertex so i just moved my x mark to this vertex now select break click on break now after clicking break suppose i want to break it break this set of polyline from this point to this point i want to make a gap here so i have already selected this i'll select next okay this point is selected and now go as soon as you do this it will make a gap between these two points okay now let's go to previous and apply some other tools like insert suppose i want to insert another vertex so go to insert and add a new vertex here move to move this vertex you can do this editing with any of the vertex just you need to take your cross mark to that vertex to make the change now move and move it now regenerate you can use r e g e and that's region if the change is not apparent instantly for that you can use regenerate now the straighten tool can be used to join two points with a single straight line for example you want to join this point with the next vertex using a single line and want to delete this arc so for that i'll use a straighten tool and i'll go to the next point okay this was not the next point this is the point which i am seeking so this was the first point and this is the next point now click on go and the two points will be joined using a single line now let's go to tangent but before going to tangent i'll first convert this into fit i'll use this fit option so that the effect of tangent is quite visible now let's go to edit vertex again and select tangent now as you can see that our x mark is on this vertex and let's make a line something like this as soon as you make a line this line will make this arc tangent at this point it might seem a little bit complicated to you at first so for making it more clear let's use this tool once again suppose we have set of polylines like this polyline edit and fit now let's go to edit vertex and now the tangent tool but before going to tangent i'll select another vertex now if you want to make a tangent to certain line so i'll select tangent and make a line a line like this and at this point the arc becomes tangent to this line and the rest of the curve will follow same curvature let's look at the width option so go to edit vertex and width suppose we want to change width from this point to this point so we'll specify the starting width as 0 and the next width as 2 units and uh, you can see the width is changing from 0 to 2 units from this starting point to end point thank you for watching have a nice day